and welcome back guys to my channel this is Don again of Omega Aquatics so today we are going to talk about live food so why live food is important for our fishes especially for little fries you know what uh, live food are very essential if you are growing fishes because it's packed with nutrition and also it has a lot of protein that can grow our fishes very well so there's a lot of live food out there that you can get hold of like grindle worms micro worms tubifax daphnia and also brine shrimp well you can purchase that in your local fish store so today we what we are going to do is we are i'm going to show you how to reculture grindle worms because grindle worms is really good because it's too small for the fry that, can, that they can eat and it's quite big enough for uh, some fishes to eat as well or big fishes to eat so I'll show you how I reculture them and we'll talk about the benefit of this particular line guys is a plastic container and also you may need a substrate so you can use a garden soil or cocoa peat or coconut fiber also a couple of dog food kibble so this is to give some food for your culture and a spray bottle to moist down the substrate so start by adding um, a quarter or it depends on you you need to do the estimation on the substrate and on the plastic container and moist it down just put uh, just enough water right? so you can see here I just used the spray bottle to moist down or to wet and soak the substrate right? not too wet and also not too dry because the um, what we're looking for is the moisture that the substrate can hold so that our worms will feel very happy right now i'm trying to fill this container and i'll be putting a little bit of kibble so or dog food so if you don't have dog food uh, you think you can use fish food as well i've, I've tried it and uh, some people use dried yeast or maybe some people use bread right i think that's really amazing and then you could soak them down and you need your culture right so start your culture and if you have a pipette or maybe a toothpick and here I use a toothpick so I'll just scrub down all the grindle worms that's already on a plastic or some people use glass to cover it up right and you place it there right right one eternity later our fishes with the grindle worms So what's good about grindle worms, like I said, it's too small for the fry to eat and it's just big enough for some fishes or big fishes to eat the grindle worms. So what is the importance again of live food for our fish? So it is really important because it's easily digestible and protein rich diet for our fish. That's all that we can share to you today guys, so please don't forget to hit subscribe and also click that notification bell for more upcoming videos 
So also like and share our videos so that we can grow our family in this channel. And that's it for today. Peace out.